There are several ways to break a siege. By shattering the gate, by storming the walls, by starving them out, or by knowing a secret way in and having the right kind of warrior to use it. Come on. Sejuro accepted my offer. The palace was his. And at least 50 of the greatest warriors the samurai chose to fight beside him. They were few, but they were mighty. Only the most devoted warriors had answered Sejuro's call. At a word, they were prepared to die for their warlord. There it is, the price of unity. I hear Sejuro's warriors. I hear Sejuro's warriors. I had looked into Sejuro's eyes. He was unapologetic in his desire for power. Other daimyo saw this as a flaw. Other daimyo are rotting corpses. The city of the samurai stands on a high mesa, surrounded by forest. It is one of the most secure fortresses in the land. It has been twice destroyed by fire, and at least six times by civil war. But never by invaders. that I had been there that day. To see the daimyo Ayu and her army lay siege to their own palace. I only wish it had taken longer. The Dawn Empire stretches far to the east. Their capital is here. Yet it was not always. For many generations, their emperor lived elsewhere. He was driven here, I think. I would like to know by what. Few fortresses are better prepared to withstand a siege than that place. My own Blackstone Fortress could not hope- Sejuro had to be nearby. The Tenth Emperor, a brutal warlord. One of the few worthy of respect. 